What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play Minecraft with Brian and Greg. I'm Greg. This is Brian. Hi. Hey. Uh, so we want to go over to that desert. We've never been to the desert. We want to explore it, but we didn't build that staircase there quickly enough or far enough down because yeah. it's a pain in the butt. Because that could take the rest of our lives. So what we're going to do is I'll do that on my off time. We're just going to go over the desert. We're just going to run to it. Remember, it's over that way. Another funny thing when I dis when I was up here, right, Brian? Our old home. You remember the original home we built into? Yeah. Not far away. It's not far at all. Uh, it took me a while, not really, to figure out. I guess. But when you hit the ground there, if you follow that waterway, it's like right over there. Oh, really? It's not, it's not bad. I think our our things uh, like that horizon blocks our tower. But that's where our, our old garbage dirt tower is. Right. Wow. The old let's not get lost dirt tower. All right. Oops, All right. So what are we packing now? We got, got a couple of shovels because I want to dig up the sand to make more glass. Mm -hmm. That's but our main objective here, right? right. Going to the desert, get sand, make glass. Yeah. Just to fill the ovens, my mm -hmm. coffers with some glass. I still feel like it's not good. What was that? That's a squid. Oh really? Yeah. Are they lo local to this area? Uh, I. They're local to water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ink sacks. What can we do with those? I don't know. Write your books, probably, bookie. Think we can paint? Oh, they have gross mouths. I think that's their butt. I think it's maybe Got it's a mouth squid. butt. Ink. I think some animals are like that actually, where they they only have one thing really? that does everything. So they poop out their mouths. Yeah. That's not. It good. only does everything. <laughs> I think that's where Sony got it. <laughs> Did we learn learn more about these um these uh pupil sacks on the on the walls over here? What? On the trees. <laughs> oh no. The lava balls. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, I think that's fruit of some kind. Oh, really? So cool. Wow, look at those vines. And ferns. Our our uh, our little house up there looks amazing. Yeah, I know, right? It's a whole jungle city. I should have brought a lot of rocks, I bet. And then I could have. To throw at the pigs? No. Oh, gross. yeah, so here's, here's I that. I could have just built straight up that. Here's that sweet sugar cane I was telling you about. Or right. bamboo or something. I keep calling it sugar cane. I don't know I why. I think it is, isn't it? Is it? I thought so. Because you can use it to make cakes, I know. Oh, and it's a yeah, yeah. To make a pretty cake. Mm. Oh, look at that. Those those tigers we were talking about earlier. Yeah. It's a pack of them. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Can we befriend them? Uh, We're going to try. We'll see what happens. We might just kill them. Okay. I mean, okay. I, I dare you to, f to fight one. Wow, they're really fast. See, I think they're leopards or cheetahs or something. Wow. This man knows the way around the jungle. We should follow him. He'll probably bring us to all the strange meats. Oh, man. Got him. He's dead. Got him. What did he drop? Got that sweet tiger meat. Wow. Nothing. What is that, an eggplant? No, that's what? That's the thing. That's this ink sack, and that's the sugar cane. Okay. Wow, so he didn't drop any, Maybe like... his crap's hidden here. You know how sometimes you got to get right up on top of it. I thought he would drop, like, a tiger claw. A skin, yeah. Oh, yeah, like a cool pelt. Fur, yeah. There's his friend. Oh, it's a kitty. Is that a baby? Don't murder it. You're going to. <laughs> of course you are. Damn. Too fast. Too furious. No, he go. He ran off hey, to. Uh, that's oh, that's big. the dad. Killed your. Killed your wife. You did. Now I'm gonna kill you. You're creating multiple Disney movies here. Hey. Oh, that was right in front of the kid, man. Now we raise the kid as our own. With what? A sword? Yeah. That's not right. Oh, you are a sick man. Got him. Where did he go? He didn't even drop anything at all. Not even the XP. Wow, that? you're level 21, Greg. Yeah. Wow, the desert. the desert. Who's that? A, a desert wolf. Stupid ass pig. This pig is very lost. He has no idea where he is. Give me that sweet meat. Thank you. All right, what are, what are that? Is that some like cactus? Cacti? Yeah, cactus. Hey, dude. It's a little wild. It's a little strange. Boom, ba dum, boom, boom, ba dum. When you make your home out on the rain. Boom, ba dum, boom, boom. So grab your horse and come along. That was a great show. It can be cooked in the furnace to create green dye. Yippee, yeah. kai, yay, yay. Yippee, kai, yay. Uh, what? Like the cowboys say. <laughs> Sing it again. <laughs> <laughs> What a terrible show that was. <gasps> yeah, I didn't understand that. Was that was always like the one where it was like, it's Saturday and there's nothing else yeah, on. Yeah, you, you know, had like, uh, like all nine. the cartoons were over and you're like, all right, I guess I'll watch Hey What's Dude. What's up, Hey Dude? What do you got for me? You got yeah. that girl Ben Stiller is going to marry. All right. Yep. And then there's, uh, there was Danny. Yeah, Ted. Ted was an ass. He was really mean. He was just uh, like a womanizer. Ooh. And then Mr. Ernst. Yeah, yeah. And then his kid was always trying to skateboard on the sand. Was he? And they're like, you idiot. And he's like, look, this is the only thing I like to do. And my dad took me away from this? 
my home in the city. The what the hell? What are you using on a shovel? That was a shovel, yeah. Well, that's because I was screwing around with it, you know. Well, what is it? I don't know. We're going to find out. It looks like a Mario block. Pull it back up a little bit. That was a bunch of them. Oh, so it looks different than the one right next to it. So that's the sand. Sand. Well, stone? What I, I have it now. Yeah, maybe it's sandstone. 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 All right. Well, whatever. Maybe that we can burn that and make super glass. Super glass. I'm pretty fly for a roll white. I don't know why that popped in my head. <laughs> Got a lot of glass. Yeah. You, you're going to need a lot, though. Mm -hmm. For my glass house. You want a glass bottom house, too, you're talking about? Yeah. So we got to get down to that and get down to business, the show business. Let's see what's down here. I wonder how my, uh, if if the mines in the desert are different. But maybe you have like scorpions. Yeah. Or the rock. <laughs> the scorpion king, of course. Mm -hmm. Remember when they used to make mummy movies? Yeah. Why I was did they so stop? excited for the Mummy Returns because I loved Mummy One so much. Yeah, me too. I saw it in theaters. We went. Yeah, we went to. Uh, we had a friend who worked at AMC, so we got to go to the midnight screening of like the, when the employees got it, like before it came out. Mm -hmm. And I, I was so depressed when I left. Yeah. It's like that was terrible. What was the Mummy Returns about again? That was I Scorpion saw. King's introduction. Was that when he showed up at the end and he looked really badly yep, photoshopped? Terrible, terrible CG. Oh, that's right. He looked like an N64 game. Right. And you were just like, I can't believe I was excited about this, Brendan Fraser. Why? What was a girl in that Rachel Weiss? Yeah, she's she's a, she is a cutie pie. Yeah, I think so too. I used to have that debate with people. I, I, there are people that said that she's not beautiful. I'm like oh, you're out of your mind. She's she's wonderful. What a nice lady. We should have her on up at noon. Okay, everybody tweet at Rachel Weiss. Tell her to come on up at noon. <laughs> she work on anything? Still, she's still she's still doing acting. Oh, you know who I want to get on up at noon? Sure. Uh, Jamie McNulty from The Wire. I don't I don't watch that show. You never saw The Wire? No. Man. Which what who who is he or she? Uh, he was also Jigsaw in one of those Punisher movies, mm. and he was in Three Hundred. Mm. Man, none of that, none of none of these compete for Greg Miller. I gotta find him. Like you don't remember that Punisher movie where the, uh, that dude had the messed up face? Nope. How did you not see that? You I, see every comic book movie. I, I think the Punisher movies look bad. <laughs> I okay. See. I think I saw the first one with Thomas Jane, maybe. Yeah. And then I was like, nope, never again. Wasn't um. John Travolta in that Coach movie. Who? Dominic West. That's his name. Let me see him. Has he ever been on Smallville? He looks like he's been on Smallville. Oh. You know that man, right? Yeah. He's always... He was a... No. He was a backstabbing dude in 300. Okay. But it, I want to say he was in like a Sandra Bullock movie too. As like her Probably. cop friend. Yeah. Does that sound right? Well, he played a cop on The Wire. Is Sandra Bullock on The Wire? No, but he is. <laughs> okay. I'm just thinking, you know, we we've, we've had a lot of good guests recently. Yeah, and they're all from the TV shows you love. Yeah, you want so you want me to throw it your way? Yeah. Okay. So either him or Alf. Okay. God, can you imagine if we got Alf on the show? What's Alf doing? He's got to be. Is well, he, is the actor still alive? No, I think, I think dark. the actor's probably dead. Oh man, what's that down there? A little desert oasis. Is that snow? Up there. I don't understand. No, on the left. Yeah, there's yeah. snow and there's desert. Hold on, we can get more paper right there on the left. Go back. Brian. Yeah. It's getting dark. So what? This is the gamble, Greg. You gotta. I mean, fortune favors the bold, my friend. Okay. But no, I think uh, the season finale of Alf, uh, or the series finale of Alf, ended with him getting um, taken away by the FBI. Really? Yeah. It's really dark. They took Alf away at the very end. It wasn't on purpose. Uh, was it supposed to end that way? Yeah. They were like, "Oh, hey, we." Uh, we're here for that alien you've been hiding, and then they took him, and I think they probably did like all kinds of messed up. No tests. way, you're lying. To me. No, seriously, that's how that show ended. It ended very dark. Was it, did they know it was ending? Yeah, they knew huh. it was ending. So, do you know about that show? Like, people used to get hurt all the time because the set was full of puppet holes. <laughs> no, I never heard about this. <laughs> think about it this way: Imagine if Greg, you and I, we do a show every single week right. called Up at Noon. Right. And Watch it every Monday. Yeah, it's, it's a funny show. We Hilarious. we love it. We have great guests. We have a great time. People come from all over the place. Now imagine if one day I was like, hey, let's add a third character to this show. Yeah. A puppet. Yeah. Nick, our producer, would be like, well, how do we do that? And I'd be like, well, I guess the only way to do it would hey, be... To, was that a monkey? monkey? No, I think it's a wolf. Oh. oh, those animals are up to weird night business. Oh, it's a sheep and, yeah. it's a, sheep and, a, and a tiger are just Getting it doing something in that bush over there. So Nick would be like, all right, got to fill the whole Up at Noon studio with holes so that we could have the the puppet 
character right, 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 come right. out of the ground. Which means that every time you and me went walking around the set, yeah. boom, kerplunk, falling in the in the puppet right. holes. So you get twisted ankles, you break yeah, your yeah. feet, and all kinds of nonsense. We can't be having that. No. Okay, I'm a little worried how dark it is right and now. And that's what happened to the elf cast? Yeah. The elf cast always got hurt, and people always fell in the elf, in the elf holes. And so they're like... As recompense for this, we're going to kill Alpha. Yeah. This year. <laughs> so at the end, they're like, "We got to cancel this show. Everybody's getting hurt from these puppet holes." <laughs> and uh, that's when the FBI. It, it came. can't. It really ended like that. Yeah. Wow. I can look it up for you. Yeah, I can, I'll, I, I'll I watch can read it. it to I'll you. watch it on my desk. Okay. <laughs> I was going to bone up on my interview for with Pete and Pete, but I'll I'll just go watch Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> we can just talk about Alpha with Pete and Pete. It'll be sure. Fun. All right, we made it back. Yeah, but you know, not not every TV show ends really good. I don't know how Smallville ended. Didn't he just l- try to fly and then? Well, he flew. Th- he saved the world, and then. What do you mean he saved the world? Like apocalypse was coming. Dark si- Dark Side was coming down with all his bros, and they were gonna destroy everything. And he just and you see him fly for the first time. Yeah, he don he donned the suit, went up there, pushed the pl- the Dark Side planetoid out of the way. So what kind of powers did he use on the show if he didn't fly? Just like other stuff? Yeah, he got his heat vision. Uh, he had oh, he got his hearing. heat vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, had, he basically had everything but fly. But oh, fly. did he get like one new power every season? Uh, No, they, they tacked him on there for a while, and then it kind of tapered off. Because they ran out? Yeah, pretty much. Did he ever use x-ray vision? Oh, yeah. Big time. Did he ever use it at school? Yep. Really? Yeah. I know where you're going with this. You're welcome to ask the next question. He did that in the oh, lock. Yeah. He went in the locker room. It's one of the like he f- well because all his powers kicked on right, and it wasn't like he knew how to master them right away. Right, because he was in high school. Exactly. So they'd kick on, and he'd have to learn to live with them, and that was the best part of the first two seasons. And so yeah, when it first kicked on one time, he was in gym class, and he fell, and he got scared when he saw through Pete's face, and so then he fell down, and he fell down and landed, and then he looked to the left, and he looked through into the girls' locker room. Oh. And so he enjoyed that power for a second. And then when he like Smallville had really good stuff as far as like trying to explain away the, or explain this crazy ass crap he'd have to live through, you know, mm-hmm. like when he got heat vision, right? It kicked on when he would like when he was like getting sexually excited, like right. he would talk about sex and he would start getting like into it, you know what I mean? And then he by accident heat vision came on. What do you mean? Like he somebody would be like, "Yo, so I was it was up with this girl, and all of a sudden he would shoot lasers out of his eyes." Pretty much. Well, no, no, it was like uh, pretty much. I say. <laughs> uh, so the episode's called Heat. It's fantastic. It's mm-hmm. one of the, like it's one of those I'd, I'd make a cheat sheet for people to watch small little episodes. That's actually a good Greg way. I should do that um, when it's on Netflix, if it ever is. And uh, so it's like there's a heat wave going through. Wait, small, you want to make it, you want to make what is commonly referred to as an episode guide? Well, I, I mean, you, I want to make it. I want to steal like IGN's crap and do like a top ten list. Like, uh, here's the top ten small episodes. Got it. To watch or whatever. Got it. Um. So he would do this. He, he would he, he he it's a heat wave going through Metropolis or not. I'm sorry, Smallville. And then on top of that, this new teacher starts at school. She's smoking hot, Brian. Mm-hmm. Just imagine a smoking hot girl. Uh, and on top of that, this smoking hot teacher now is teaching them about sex ed. I have a feeling that when you and I picture a smoking hot girl, different girls. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. You what do you picture? I mean, I picture the teacher. Well, you're picturing the teacher. All right, so <laughs> pretend that you never saw Smallville. Okay, I mean, like, I'm not saying, like, the girl of your dreams. I'm not trying to pick the girl of your dreams, but, like, a okay. beautiful woman, like. No, I wasn't trying to antagonize you. I was just making an anecdote. I really think that when you picture a smoking hot girl and I picture Well, sure, girl, I'm sure. Like, our our girlfriends don't look a lot alike. No, they're not at all. Light. No, oh, they're. Light. How tall is your girlfriend? Small. Yeah, mine's yeah. tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't expecting that. You know, I always dated short girls. Yeah, that wasn't like something that drew you to her, was it? No, it just sort oh, of well, happened. You're, you're, you're never like that guy who's like, oh, sorry, you're too tall for me or too short for me. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. That's horrible. I mean, unless a girl was one foot tall. Gotcha. And I don't even mean like, I think I could date like a very a, a, a very beautiful three foot tall woman. Sure. I don't care what it's people think about me. Yeah. But one foot tall That's would become, on. I would step on her. That's true. That's, That's a hazard. Like Midge from Pee Wee's. I don't adventure. call them that. No, what was it? Pee Wee, Pee Wee under the big top. What was that one called? Pee Wee's big house. Pee Wee's big top play. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Anyways, no, and I'm not calling them that. There was a character <laughs> in there named Midge who lived in his po- in the her in a. Uh, damn. Why do you think they call them that? What? Stop saying them that. It was her <laughs> name. They called her Midge. <laughs> she <laughs> was. A, it, uh, her name was Midge. It okay. wasn't. All right. Fine. Anyways. So. <laughs> Small. <laughs> so hold on, let me ask you something real quick. When Superman uses his X-ray vision, does he have like a um, a dial on it? Like, in small, yeah, in Smallville he did. Okay, so like that was the thing. Is he he like 
when he got scared, he was looking at Pete's face and he saw like the bone and the muscle underneath it. Yeah. And then when he fell down and it was still freaking out, he saw through the wall, but the girls were fully dripped clothes. Right. Yeah. I mean, this oh, is the okay. problem with making up, you know, making up things that couldn't really exist. No, totally. But no, I was just wondering because if you had that, if you had that power, it could get dangerous because right. you would be like. Do I want to look at this girl's lingerie, or do I want to see her spleen? Does she have cancer? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's something that uh, you know, the good Superman comics and stuff, you know, wrestle with. There was a great annual. I think I've talked about to you about this. I don't know if I've talked about it on the show about it. Uh, a great annual they did once where uh, it was like, year, you know, decades and you know, it was a lifetime after Superman or whatever. But there was like a group of people who were like Team Superman, uh-huh. who each had one of his powers to try to keep on, you know. Saving the world in his honor or whatever. How do they get that? Uh, various experiments and shit and prosthetics and stuff that fucked everything up. But that was the thing is that they screwed it up real bad. Yeah. So, like, the guy who had heat vision, he had to fire off a blast of heat vision every so often. Even if he wasn't, like, wanting to use it, he had to do it. Otherwise, it would, like, build up and then explode out of his eyes and kill somebody. And the guy who had x-ray vision couldn't turn it off. So, like, his life was a nightmare. So, like, he, he was used to find bombs and stuff, but then he immediately went back and, like, put on lead glasses so you didn't have to see anything so it was like playing um arkham asylum right he always had the whole time you just had man yeah was everything blue for him well i mean it was i forget what was it it was just that you saw skeletons and stuff wow your life kind of sucked yeah i wouldn't like that at all that would throw me off i think it would get gross like if if you and i went and got lunch yeah i'd have to see all that happening right like like the pulsating in your stomach Swallowing. You have like all these wing pieces, yeah. all the wing swirls. Yeah, the wing swirls. I'm, I'm a big fan of those. <laughs> Gonna have a lot of them this weekend. Super Bowl weekend. Oh, yeah, that's Heads wing up, time. We don't film these in the right time frame of you watching them. That's true. If, you've, if you're watching this now, the Super Bowl happened already, which is absolutely the only way you'd be watching this. You've time traveled. Unless hope, you're in the room right now yeah, watching it with us. I hope your uh, favorite team won and the team you wanted to lose lost. Well, as always. Brian, mm-hmm. we've done something and just created more work for ourselves. So these are cooking, but I need more coal. So I'll have to go mine out more coal. Wait, wait. Before you do that, let's make a book. How do I – do I have everything? Yeah. Let's so check it out. Go to uh, – I definitely don't have everything in my pocket. So what do I need? Well, do I you need, have – I need the sugar cane. Yeah. And then what? I think that should be it for now. Ink? Don't I need ink? No, we don't need ink for the book. What? Yeah, it's weird, man. We have books. We don't specify if there's anything written in. I'm them. just making journals then. Where do yeah. they hide it? Where do I hide it under? Um, I think it's totally under small. the switches and lever thing. Oh no, it's under the pic- the paintings, picture frames. It, the picture frame stuff is basically like pretty stuff that you don't actually need. So now you made paper. Now I got a book. Now you get a book. Now if you get three books, you can kind of just like I don't know what you can do with that. Maybe read it or go bore people with it. Um, but if you get three books, make a bookshelf. Okay. The bookshelf is just, I thought it would be like a big, big thing. Yeah. It's really just a square. So you need a whole bunch of papers. Uh, dang, to make I don't even book. have enough for another book. Yeah. You need a whole bunch so of papers close. to make a whole bunch of books. Oh, a jukebox. Oh, dude. Well, I've never even looked in this menu. Do you have any diamonds? Uh, I made that. I know where to get some because I had that thing, you know. Make a jukebox. Make Listen jukebox. to some Beats by Dre. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a whole bunch more stuff to do here. Remember, Brian and I post 15 minutes of Minecraft commentary that sometimes is about the game, other times totally about Smallville and just weird stuff. Uh, We do it every day, 1030, so come back. Pacific Standard Time, check out these shows. We love you. Thanks for watching. We're noobs. Don't insult us. We're enjoying the game. 